Alright everybody, welcome to part 29 of my Pokemon Pearl walkthrough, or LP, I think it's more of an LP than a walkthrough, because if it was a walkthrough I'd be a lot better at this. Anyway, uh, in the last part we went through half of this gym, this, this part we're gonna go through the other half, and a half of it, and probably hopefully beat the boss. Thrashing. Of you! Okay. This is really stupid. I don't know why they made it like this, but they did. Alright, one more trainer fight here, and then you're up to the boss, I think. Not sure exactly. I don't remember this gym as well as I thought I did. Sure. from another famous let's player you gotta be kidding me i mean seriously i was that close to a level up man yeah this is the place to go to the boss all right well wonder what happens if you go over here nothing okay anyway you go up here like plus like four floors i don't even i don't know i don't know how that works but it does some kind of magnetic powers you'd think this would be an electric type gym but it's not okay anyway enough about that I recommend you save and uh, heal and stuff, but I'm just going to save here. Just in case I really do screw everything up. Because, you know, you know me, I'm likely to do that. I do it on a daily basis. Anyway, this is... Ah, oh, that's the Ar Arbor Gym Badge. I see you've defeated my son. What? That's no surprise, he still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, will take on your challenge. Well, he's, he's just the first gym leader. Cut him some slack, man gonna tell you all for like dissing my boy Byron actually I really don't care about Rourke uh, first he's gonna set out this bronzor here this bronzor believe it has extra sensory so you're gonna want to take this out fast if you're using infernape like I am but infernape um well I hope you'll get to see it unless I screw up majorly I hope you'll get to see what I mean but yep fire type super effective and, uh, yep. Bronzer goes down. Now, what I was trying to show off about this gym is the fact that Infernape, Infernape at this point in the game, totally breaks it. Hey, Skorupi went to level 40. Guess who, guess what happens when that happens? Well, we have to wait till the end of the battle to find that out. Unlike the anime in which she can, you know, do whatever it wants. Well, I'm not gonna switch. Since it's sending out its strongest Pokemon in the middle of the fight, I don't get that. But anyway, if you have Infernape, use close combat. It is the ultimate rape against this guy. Death. I just call it. I just called it death. But it is level 39, so if you are underleveled, it could be a little bit problematic. But I am a little bit over, oh, under. I did that. I'm a little bit underleveled, so you know. But I still managed to get out without a scratch from these guys. I took more damage from his, uh, from uh, his, um, his little. Groupies who come with him in the gym. I guess you could call them groupies. I don't know if you would. Would you call them groupies? Or would you call them... Oh, man. I was about to make a really bad, you know, like... Like a four-year-old joke. You know, like, are they groupies or are they poopies? I don't know. Oh, jeez, man. Should not do that. Autofocus is going crazy, man. Can I take it out? Can I take it out? That whole gym battle, and I didn't take a scratch of damage. Not even one damage. That just tells you, Infernape, breaking the game. Stop it, Infernape. Bad. No breaking games. Alright, this is epic. You know, you're battling a, uh, a boss, and you're doing it for a gym badge, which you can use to do stuff with, and what? 
Scorpion is evolving. Dun 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 Congratulations, your Skorupi evolved into Drapion! I've never used this Pokemon in game before. Never, ever, 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 ever square. Yes, I was strong enough. Didn't take very much. <laughs> that is Gym Badge 6. It allows you to use strength outside of battle, just what he just said. And you have six gym badges, which means all Pokemon up to, up to level 70 will obey you. I doubt any of you have level 70 that you trained already. But it's possible, I don't know. Maybe you're insane like that. I used to think you had to go backwards to this gym, but there actually is a simpler way. You can just keep going around. And around. I don't know why they didn't just have, like, an escape route that was easier than this, but no. No, they had it like this. Yep, there you go. And that was Byron, and that was easy. I'm sorry, but that was likely the easiest boss in the game. That is, of course, this isn't the only uh, gym leader that um, having Infernape breaks, you know? There is another gym leader that coming, that's that coming up, yeah, all your island are belong to us. Um, yeah, they, 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 there is another boss in this game that is, <laughs> frankly, very easy when you have Infernape with you. Just simply because it is fire type. Uh, even that gym battle, I, I think I came out with a scratch or two. But this gym battle, not a scratch, man. Not even a scratch. Anyway, let's check out our Drapion, man. It's gotta be cool. Level 40, level 40. Hey! This is a very balanced team. Look at that. Level 40, level 40, level 40. These are all my team members. The 1, 2, 3. Not bad. And they all have at least 100 in. Uh, let's check out Drapion's stats and whatnot. Man, that looks so epic. Poison Dart type. Yep, 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 yep. Met at level 22. I raised it 18 levels, man. That's crazy. Powers up moves if they become critical hits. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I didn't check out its stats, did I? No, I didn't. Or its stats. Okay, its attack is 85. Defense is 97. Has pretty high defense. Well, I'm not a big fan of defensive Pokemon, but I guess it can work. And its attack stat is pretty dang high, too. Drapion? I have no opinion of you. I hope you change that. I hope you make me have a wonderful opinion of you. Uh, let's see, 940. Let's see if we can finish up this cutscene. If it's not, then uh, I guess, I don't know what will happen. I don't know, maybe I'll just skip the cutscene altogether, because it's not really a, it's not really that great of a cutscene. It's not like, it's super important for the game or anything. And I still have a couple battles that I have to, you know, speed up and whatnot, so I'm not exactly sure. It's hard to keep tabs on time when you're speeding up battles instead of cutting them out. Yep, there we go. Yeah, my little, you stupid little mark. I don't want to do anything you want to do. You're stupid. I don't like it. Okay, it's about blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be my tape up. Okay, I get it. Yeah, good. Yeah, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. I know about that. Because I played this game before. <laughs> Uh, why? Yeah, you shouldn't have done that, Mark. Well, yeah, but, you know, I could do that without a Pokedex. <laughs> Made us go regardless. Alright, cool. Split up. I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to go through all three anyway. Hey, then why aren't you sending me, you Gramps? You're so stupid. Yeah, I know you're the hotness. You're fat. I just beat you in a battle. You suck. You suck in a hey, what? The ground is shaking. And not only the sprites are staying still. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna nitpick at this. This is... It's a good game, really. What do you mean, hurry along? The game wouldn't let me move. Okay, fine. Yeah. Beware of aftershocks. I like how they say that as if it could happen, but then again, I guess, uh, to be more realistic, they had to say that. I don't know. Gasp! Wing, wing, that tremor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, old dude and kid, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Blade Valley. Kaboom! Maybe that should be my new capture. Kaboom! Okay, maybe not. Like that. 
Yeah, because you could imitate an explosion perfectly. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about you that you're gonna get pwned by somebody that I can easily kill. Okay. Don't let go. Yeah, fine. I won't go in my head. Fine. Yeah, of course I'll be okay. Gosh, stop worrying about me. I'm not just a, I'm not a kid anymore. All right, I think that's enough for this episode. We got pretty far. Drappy on a wall. You know, we got six bags. We are sent out on a mission by an old guy who's really too lazy to, you know, do anything on his own. Just like Professor Oak. I'm too old. I can't get it done on my own. Anyway. So, I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Pearl. If you like this episode. If you like this video, subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big big yellow button. Give me good five-star reviews down below. And check out my other parts if you like this one. See you guys next time on part 30. And, uh, you know, see you then. Bye.